Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about how to update your motherboard BIOS, and this process that I'm gonna show you works in every single motherboard from, let's say, 2011 till now. Well, in case you don't know what motherboard do you have, the first thing you need to do is to know it. And for example, you can go and watch the, um, the box uh, of your motherboard, in case you've bought your PC hardware uh, part by part. You can go to your motherboard, open your PC and watch the, um, the model because it, well, it usually says the model on the motherboard, so that's also an option and the other option is to use a software you can use many of them but well use one of them i will leave some links in the description so see the model in the box in the motherboard or using a software in your windows now that you know your model simply go to your motherboard's website in this case if you have an asus motherboard for example go to the asus website select your motherboard's model and download the latest bios available for that model after that, uncompress the file that you downloaded and put it in your pen drive device. After that, shut down your PC, let it shut down completely and then start it again and press repeatedly on the delete or F2 button. That will make you enter the BIOS or the UEFI like I like, I like to call it. <laughs> Go to the last tab in the BIOS, usually, yes, the last tab in the BIOS, and you have the Easy Flash Utility. Almost any brand will call it Easy Flash or Flash Utility or something like that. For example, the Asus call it Asus Easy Flash Ut Utility, the MSI calls it Easy Flash Utility or something like Flash Utility, so it is in almost every brand the same name. So, use it. Select the file that you downloaded and uncompress it to your pen drive and install it. After that, the process is done and you have a new BIOS. Just take in consideration that this process can be done by just going into the BIOS and using the Easy Flash utility to download from the internet the BIOS, the latest BIOS available. But in case your internet breaks, for example, that may uh, result in a brick the motherboard. So, yes. I really recommend you to download first the BIOS and then simply install it. This is the most uh, safe process you can do. And well, that's all for today, guys. I know that most of my viewers already do this uh, with an eye closed or even with uh, two eyes closed. But, uh, well, most of them may not know how to do it and some newer users may not know how to do it. So I'm here to teach you and that's what I've done. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video. And well, the next ones will be, uh, well, I think like Monday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll, we're gonna have a new video on the RX 570 and the RX 580 that will finally come after the, the XFX cards that were faulty. I'm gonna receive some from Sapphire and I think those will work properly, so we'll have some videos through the week on those cards. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.